morning, girls. I don't know where to begin with this topic of conversation, so I'm just gonna start. Um, I just moved to Florida, Miami Beach, with my boyfriend Alfonso to pursue a dream. So I've always dreamt my whole life of being a professional athlete. I've always done boxing training, and I've decided to take on a pursuit of being a professional boxer. Not just like anything fake, it's gonna take me months and months and months and months of training. I have had to hire a huge team of people to help me get to the top being my first year of training when most of these athletes have been training their whole lives. So I've taken on quite the challenge to say the least, um, but I've dedicated my whole life to this pursuit and to share it with you guys. I have also feel like it's gonna help give me credibility with my company because I'm gonna be, have to be training like an athlete. I wanna get in the best shape of my life and do a challenge that is so difficult that I don't know if it's gonna work out or not, but I'm gonna give it my all and I wanna share the whole journey with you guys. So I just woke up. It is Thursday morning. Coronavirus is heavier than ever and um, I committed to this training and so I have to figure out a way how to do it at home now. So that's also another thing I want to show you guys how I'm at home staying fit and healthy through this coronavirus situation when I have um, a big, big, big goal right ahead of me. So I'm going to make breakfast, do my day, take you guys with me and see what happens. I think the moment you start declining in life is when you stop challenging yourself and I don't like feeling like I'm ever in a plateau. So I always give myself big new challenges and this is the biggest one I've ever given myself in my life. And I've been scared to do it, obviously, because I'm gonna be in a ring getting physically attacked by an opponent and I don't know if I have the skill set yet to defend myself or to be great at it. But I've been training now for four weeks I haven't showed you guys because I've been nervous to tell you, but it's gonna be a long journey and I just wanna show you through the ups and downs of, of me taking on this huge, huge challenge and the things I learned along the way. I have an amazing nutritionist, sports physician, sports trainer, boxing coach, manager, whole team. It's a whole situation we've got going on here and I'm in it and I'm just gonna go for it. All right, this is JR, <laughs> head of strength and conditioning with his friend Jamie who's not here. And J JR's from Nebraska. And Alfonso <laughs> just, <laughs> just left, but we've made protein waffles. Um, the boys are eating a little bit more protein and I'm just doing these. But I love these because they have all the crucial nutrients that we need to give me energy for the intense workouts I have. I love putting cinnamon and maple syrup for some sugar. I love protein waffles, protein pancakes because they taste obviously delicious and you're getting protein, fats, carbs. Make sure when you add your maple syrup that you ration it so you're not drenching it. This is a lot, but I love putting cinnamon in my maple syrup. And then we're gonna start our first workout. I think boxing is our first workout of the day. Hobby L, who you guys will meet, is coming. Drinking get almost a gallon or two of water a day. We refill these so that we're aware of our plastic consumption, but we'll see you for the workout. So I have this weird thing where I don't like filming in front of people, so whenever I have other people in the video, I get all stiff and nervous. But I wanted to tell you guys that you can use any waffle recipe for your waffles and pancakes, but just add two scoops of those capri protein, it's my favorite, and take out that amount of flour or gluten-free flour, hopefully you're using. I love adding coconut oil, cinnamon into them always. I use lots of butter to make them crispy. So those waffles are great because they give me lots of energy. I'm getting changed right now for my workout. I'm gonna drip sweat. You guys are gonna see how intense the boxing is. And then I typically do two other workouts after the boxing for strength and conditioning. So I have to be fueling myself a lot, obviously, because I'm burning so much. I'm getting ready for my workout clothes. I want to tell you girls that use this time of coronavirus 
all of this downtime to get your health goals back on track. Um, I think these are inside out. These are inside out. Shit. It's 10 a.m. So I've been waking up at like 8 o'clock to get ready, make breakfast, and get my day started. But with this coronavirus going on, use this time to get back into your healthy routines and goals that you guys might have. Now is the time you have energy to focus on it. So it would be a shame to not take advantage of all this at home time. You can cook now, you can do workouts at home, you're either gonna sit on the couch and eat bad and watch movies all day for who knows how long, or you're gonna, could use this time to get super fit. So that's what I'm doing, and I think you'll feel a lot better too. So I can't look out with a shirt on because I'm gonna start dripping, dripping, dripping sweat. I think the boxing coach is here. He works with a top boxer, his name's Javio. Hopefully you guys are gonna see my fight or be able to come to it. It's a goal. I hit record it, Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier. Halfway done with the boxing workout. I love boxing because I have to be fully present oh, in my workout. I drip sweat, I love it. It's so therapeutic for me because my mind's able to shut off. With boxing, I have to fully focus on what I'm doing. Else hit in the face at a pad, and so it really helps my brain shut off, and that's something that I feel like I need a lot in just to pause everything else and focus on my workout, so it's really good for my mental health. Champagne Perrier, finish friends on my face, looking like I'm from the D, D's no Cartier, pockets deep, 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 bro, I can make it in my seat, bro. Just finished boxing, I'm dripping sweat, but I'm going to now do a little ab circuit. I'm really using these quarantine days to get in the best shape of my life. So it's unfortunate what's going on, but how you use your time while it's happening is up to you. I work in finance, God bless, no, this not by chance Don't dab me, you're not my man. don't at me, you're not my man. Mama said don't buy it if you can, I buy it twice I cop by the tools and I don't pump fake with the price Always on the grind, I put in work with all my might I know that he got me, got me, got me, not by sight Yeah, 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 yeah shower and get fresh. <laughs> Breathe, relax, <laughs> let it go. Efficient, that's a better economy. Okay. So it's eliminating tension in places there shouldn't be stress. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> you said you like balance, well I'm trying to give you true balance throughout your body. Okay. So it'll make my sports performance better. Just finished our myofascial release, which is the most emotional treatment I've ever received. It's painful and it releases so much tension in your body. And after I eat, like I just want to take a nap and sleep, I feel exhausted, I feel emotional, 
today and I think I just want to watch a show and take a nap. <laughs> but I realize I'm like pretty moody. I'm pretty moody. I, I've been working with therapists on my moods because I feel like I have really good days, really bad days. Um, and I just get in my head and my head is so stubborn and it's like locked. And so one of the biggest things he's been helping me is is dealing with my moods and just trying to have a more positive outlook on life because I feel like my na my brain gets stuck on negative thoughts and just wants to like self-destruct its horrible. I want to show you what I'm cooking up. It's perfectly time to get out of the oven. This is for Alfonso. It's barbecue, ribs, um, chicken, brown rice, broccoli for me. This is chicken, brown rice, and broccoli. So, the simpler, the better for me. And then almost done my first gallon of water. Yum. So we're about to leave for our second workout pretty shortly. So I changed my workout clothes. But every time I eat lunch, I always typically crave something sweet after. And I love to listen to my body. So instead of having candy bar or something, I make this homemade cookie dough that's super healthy and the ingredients are right here. I love to just sit and watch TV while I'm eating something healthy. Mm. Mm. It's really good. And I'm not just saying this, but the protein powder is what makes it taste like cookie dough. My proteins taste like vanilla cake batter and chocolate brownies actually so you can really taste it in these mixes without the smoothie it doesn't look too appetizing but it tastes delicious so what's in here are oats chia seeds cashews almond butter cinnamon honey and vanilla protein a half a scoop of vanilla protein and a little bit of chocolate protein but it's important when you guys have snacks to make sure you're balancing the sugar, carbs, fats, everything. I just finished my boxing workout and now we're following it by with sprints. So the cardio that I always love to do is 10 minute warm up, 10 sprints that are 30 seconds long and then a 10 minute cool down. So 30 minutes of cardio is what I typically always do and you can switch up with jump rope, any other things, but it's a great way to get an extra burn going on. It's quite difficult. So we're do we just did our 10 minute warm up and now we're doing sprints on this massive hill. I'm feeling energized, um, a little sore. And JR is here helping me through this. Gonzo's in the car. He's so tired. Um, has a lot of business things going on. So, just JR. This hill is vertical. This is, looks very brutal. sprints and my knee started ooh, seizing so JR is doing some myofascial release to help release the tension and so if you girls feel like you're ha injuring something it's better to stop and take care of it than work through it because you're gonna injure yourself more oh also something JR has taught me is that you need to be aware of your form when you're running, everything you're doing, be aware of your posture, your body alignment, or else you're gonna start building bad habits and your body's gonna start shaping in a way you don't want it to. Ooh. 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 It's there. We're gonna do one more sprint and then our cool down and then call it a day. I'm exhausted and it's been a long day, but I feel good, I feel healthy. 
happy most importantly and we just found a park to do our workouts at so even though it's quarantine we're staying away from obviously people we've just been isolated here at this park but we found a place outside so it's been nice to get outside and try to find somewhere get some sun and stay happy and healthy i'm dead it's been a long day the grass feels so good i also drank a glass of orange juice for the first time this morning and it was so I've been thinking about orange juice ever since. <laughs> Just finished boxing and run. The sun is setting, it's very strong. Um, we're gonna make some dinner, relax, go to sleep, and see what happens from there. Long day. I have dust all over my face, my ankles, I have thorns all over me, and I'm ready to shower. I'm dusty everywhere. Dust ball. I'm so exhausted that I just want to sleep, which is great because I sometimes have a hard time sleeping. So my brain runs. But now, because I'm exerting so much energy, I sleep like a baby. But today, we found a local farm that provides fresh organic produce. <laughs> Farms here in Florida, so we got super high quality meat. I'm very particular about the meat that I eat <clears throat> and I think that it's very important that you get organic grass fed. I spent the last hour making flower beautiful rose bouquets. Alfonso spent the last hour thawing Cooking. out his wagyu. And JR over here spent the last hour building a barbecue. <laughs> All the restaurants are closed, so we're making our houses grill out. If there's anyone in the world you guys want to be stuck with, it's JR, me, and Alfonso. We keep the ambiance nice, we get the best food, and I, I just stirred my ass because <laughs> I thought you were gonna give me a hard time for my postures. We're, we're working on our posture and engaging the right muscles. Yeah. JR is Let's like... see how you would go down to, to, to open the oven. Like, give us before. Okay, before. No, like that. Okay, now. It's pretty ah. good. You can have the exhale. <laughs> oh, shit. Bad posture, bad posture. A little more arch. <laughs> I think I pulled on myself. <laughs> Posture. <laughs> Great. But it's better, no? Yeah, that was a lot better. It's walking better, no? You look way better than what I got here. But walking? What about my walking? Well, you tell me if you have a better relationship with the ground. What I mean, type of relationship? They were on rocky terms, right? <laughs> Yeah, this butcher we went to today, Jamie, we got some really good cuts of meat. How, about, how many pounds of meat did you get? Peter, Peter just said to me, Jamie. Peter, Jamie, did we tell you that Peter is gonna um, help, well, he's gonna manage and help Cambry fight fights, like good actual fights? That's good, man, he's a good dude. He is, he has, I mean, obviously he has only good things to say about you, but interesting thing is, He's actually told us that he's gonna produce a whole show for Kimberly getting ready for the fight. And then she's gonna get Kimberly like a really good, good deal with like a TV network so that because he thinks this story is like undone. Like actually doing it the right way and learning how to fight and the whole thing, you know, it's like. Yeah. But the right way, you know, like fighting real fighters and the whole thing. Yeah, she don't. After watching her on the tags, man, she don't need the next fight. She could beat she could beat ninety percent of the people out there right now. You're killing me. While Cambry boxes, I should be doing conditioning, and while I box, Cambry should be doing like conditioning and. What about tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I just had a fight of my stick. That's amazing. Uh, tomorrow we got a. Uh... We gotta find a place to do our workout. We have access to a one hotel tomorrow. No way. Yeah. When, why didn't you tell us the sooner? I told JR. It's my favorite gym. Perfect. The one hotel is the best and gym. And then we're supposed to have a, beach, have a beach day, day. unless uh, the military comes and shuts us down. Jamie, we need you here, man. I keep saying this every time <laughs> you get here on the phone. <laughs> Can't get frustrated because of 
results you're not seeing now. You know what but I mean? But when, when will the results come? When you put in the After work. time. You, you, you gotta put in time. I think that's most people's problem. Everybody's problem. Everybody wants to write. That's why everybody quit. Alphonse each morning's like, have I lost weight? Have I lost weight? Have I lost weight? Every morning I wake up and I'm like, you gotta, you gotta give it time, man. It takes a lot of time. If you stick to your shit for two months and get eight hours of sleep a night, you'll get a six pack. Dude, you guys think about my dessert. Yes. Mango and dates. I love the dates and I love the mango. Okay. I brought one you for you. Twitter, I brought a date for you. Yeah, and I brought one for you too. Figs are the best. Mm, these are amazing dates. You can taste the quality. It's in, really? Yeah. You're, I think you're going to love it. It's the best date I've ever had. I thought I was the best date you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I just found the best lighting in the entire apartment. It's this little unsuspecting light, but it's, wow. I'm gonna be filming, filming all my vlogs here now. But you guys, I'm about to go to sleep. It was a great day. Had its up and ups and downs, as you saw my mood too. Had ups and downs, but I think that I'm working through some of those things and I feel a lot better going to sleep right now. Um, and every night we also read a few scriptures from the Bible to help us fall asleep in a peaceful state taking my 2 d bloat pills. These are best I find to take at nighttime. A lot of girls are deficient in magnesium. It's crucial for um, women's health and you can do some more research online about that. But my favorite helps me go to the bathroom when I wake up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you find my videos interesting or informative. <laughs> and make sure to enter my weekly giveaway three steps to enter subscribe to me on youtube tag a friend in my latest instagram picture and comment below a video you guys would like to see next week i love you girls so much stay happy stay healthy take care of yourselves there's no better investment than to invest in your health and your well-being it will affect the rest of your life and it's something that i truly believe in so i'll see you girls next week bye Ladies on the floor, stress on me, cause my angels in the